Good morning. You already know it's not really the morning. Good morning today. How are you? Now it's the first of the month. Happy New Year to you. It's also the time when that rent is due. Good morning. Do you hear the birds chirping? Damn it. Good morning. Breathe in some of that God-given air. Good morning today. How are you? Girl, but for real, happy new year. I'm so glad that you made it from the other side to over here. Best friends and thank you so much for pressing play on my channel and being a big part of my life speaking of big parts of my life you know the things that came out of my life giver oh tmi hide your kids she's being vulgar today <laughs> unless you think giving life is vulgar whatever i mean go ask your mom you're here because of her girl listen i'm putting them things to work this year this year, they are putting them hands to great use. I said, you know what, Lord, you gave me four beautiful, healthy children. And I'm always saying how if I had enough hands, Lord, if I could just be like that man from that Spider-Man movie, after the radiation mutation hit his body with the mechanical arms or whatever, and he was resurrected as some thing with a whole bunch of hands, go with me here. I wanted to always be like that, but like the happy version, not the villainous version. You know what I'm saying? Like, who wouldn't want to walk around with eight arms and hands attached to them? <laughs> I would. But you know, I already have them. Wait, hold on, let me count. Two, four, six, eight. Who praise God for Jesus, I passed elementary. Everybody didn't pass. Some of y'all was held back, okay? But you're here now, so that's all that matters. Listen, so the boys have their duties of taking out the trash. That is their chore. I'm going to start them real light because if I just bombard them with taking out the trash, making their beds, washing dishes, scrubbing toilets, I think they might pass out. And I don't want anybody coming to my house talking about I'm working my children like they in a sweat camp or something you know what i'm saying so i'm going to just start the boys very lightly with their one chore which is if you see that the trash is full you better use some hands and take the trash out <laughs> because i feel like you know i'm raising men and there are certain things that a man should do and those things are taught to young men early you wonder why your man don't take out the trash um uh, walk away right now from what i'm about to say don't let your man be near while i'm talking about this because we best friends but you know sometimes when your man find out that your best friend be dropping jewels then he not gonna want us to be best friends no more he gonna try and kick me out like mr did silly sister in the color purple and i don't have time for not now man to be throwing rocks at me talking about get off get off of my land and for me to be doing that <laughs> I got time to be doing that. Okay, so just walk away. But girl, you alone? Well, just turn the volume down and put it in your phone. By now, I know he ain't going nowhere. You probably looking over your shoulder like, what is she about to tell my woman? I'm about to tell your woman that if a man is not taking out the trash, then I don't know who raised him. Who raised him? It wasn't his mama. Mama might have been out doing her own thing in these streets. But anyway, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to teach my young men to be young men, even though I know tradition is like almost completely extinct these days. But I'm just gonna go with tradition and teach my little men to be men. You know what I mean? Like, Hold the door open. Please don't let yourself in the house before I let myself in the house. Get, get back. But these are the things that, you know, 
Kids have to be taught these things. You train a child the way that they train a child the way that they should go. Or is it train a child the way they should go? Because you know some other people make up all these terms and none of them have proper English. Train a child the way they should go. Right. Anyway. I'm from the South, so please don't get offended. Oh my gosh. So, uh, girl, you know I have to talk about this for a second. I finished Power. I feel like I need to sit down when, I, when I'm talking about Power. While I clean up my counter, because I'm the worst at putting my makeup up, but girl, I finished the last episode of season five. First of all, I ain't gonna ruin it, but some people don't like the way it ended, but I'm glad she had to go. Everything was her fault anyway, she had to go. And if she comes back in season six, the devil is a liar, okay? But you know what? I don't wanna spoil it for anybody who hasn't watched Power. You need to get on the Power train. I started the whole series all the way over because I missed them. Another one of my favorite shows that I watch a lot um, is Mad Men. I'll do that because I love that show. You can catch that show on Netflix, but that used to be like my show. But Power, I'm back on season one, episode one. And you know what? I'm not elbows ashy, first of all. First of all, this is my favorite, um, my favorite smell from Victoria's Secret. I love it, cause I'm suffering from dried out ptosis right now. But girl, I gotta go make my kids some lunch and stuff. Ooh, something's in my eyeball. And then, I don't know about you, but have you taken down your Christmas tree? I asked this question on my Instagram. I normally give the questions over there first before I ask y'all, what's the longest amount of time that you've left your Christmas tree standing? in your home. Because I'm not a tree murderer, like I don't go purchase dead trees just for the sake of the holiday, AKA live trees, but they're not really alive, they're already dead because you don't cut them from the root. I have a faux tree with a faux spirit, i.e. a plug that lights it up, which makes it completely easier for me to leave my tree up a lot longer because girl, if you have a whole dead tree that was once living but now it's dead, is gone to glory and all the pine needles is now on your floor and you just left with something that is highly flammable, I declare and decree. You should be arrested today. Hello, 911. Yes, I got a best friend that just, she trifling and we, go, we gotta get rid of her. Yes, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. She still has her Christmas tree up. Mm -hmm. Okay, you gonna go get her now? Okay, good. This is this is an anonymous phone call, right? And you can tell her that best friend sent you. Okay, all right, bye-bye. But to be completely honest, because we're in a safe place, we can share these things. Once upon a time, girl, I left my tree up until March. I'm definitely gonna take all the decorations off of the tree and put it away, if not today, at least by tomorrow, right? But first, I've got to go feed these people that keep calling me mommy. Girl, I don't even know these people, but they keep calling me mommy and they don't even pay no rent, girl. I always got their hand out. Talk about they thirsty, hungry, suffering from sleep deprivation. Need somebody's hand to help wipe they booty and things. Mama, I don't feel good. I think I got a fever. I always talk about what somebody done took from them. But I've never once shared how they took my good body and left me tattered and battered with these stretch marks and booty dimples. I want them now! <laughs> I love you. Mommy. What is it? Can I have a lollipop now? You want a lollipop? You want a lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. Oh, a lollipop. Can I kind of brush your hair though? No. Why? Because 
You be running around here with Joe. I can't get my own brush. No, I want to brush your hair. This Yo. Hair. She be running around here running wild and free, okay? Like that horse spirit. Anyway. <laughs> but if we go out somewhere, you know I do my baby's hair. Hey, hey. Izzy, here's another one of these hey. blessed creatures. I, I like this brush. Girl, no, that, no, 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 no. That brush is for your baby doll's hair. Don't you dare, cause you got curly hair and that brush is that brush isn't good enough for your beautiful hair. You have to use another brush. Don't do that. <laughs> I feel like my life is in the kitchen. You guys always ask me like to do more meals and things like that, but I feel like I try and include everything within the videos because I'm literally in the kitchen like all day long. That's why I know when I build my home from the ground up, my kitchen is going to be probably the centerpiece of the first floor for sure now the second level will be completely different there will be a centerpiece on the second level but on the first level for sure i need a big kitchen because i need space to move around and just be comfortable you know but tonight what i am making per my kids request well actually julian because one of his favorite foods to eat is either chicken tenders chicken nuggets one or the other as long as it's chicken fried and he's able to dip it in something, and spaghetti and meatballs. Now, I just want y'all to know, um, the secret recipe to these homemade meatballs that I'm making for my kids, and how you roll them and prepare them, is rolling them straight up from out of the store. Okay? <laughs> Publix, y'all. Shout out to Publix for always having these meatballs. They're pretty good. I got two packs just because I want leftovers and if I got one pack, yeah, it wouldn't be good. But, y'all, if you've never been to Publix, if you don't have a Publix, you need to petition with your city, state, governor, whoever, and, and write Publix a letter, okay? Because if you've never experienced Publix, then you're missing out on the finer things of life. They help a mom out. Ooh, my pot has gotten hot. You got something to say? All right, dinner is done for me familia. I didn't get to make the collard greens, but no what matter. collard greens? I know, I didn't get, I'll make them tomorrow. Collard greens. I'll make them tomorrow. Collard greens. Anyway, this is just as good though, right? It's one of our faves. It's spaghetti. And meatballs. With collard greens. Like Mommy. Mommy. Izzy, can you get out of my hair? I don't want spaghetti sauce in my hair. Yes, Jojo. Can I I'm done. Meatballs? Can you please have some more meatballs? Uh -huh. You guys ate them all. I have to I'm make done. more.
Listen here, sister. You should be very proud of me because I got in the shower and washed every single hole that God gave me. I know, I know. Shout out to the moms out there that took a shower on this very day. Cause sometimes we just don't. By the end of the day, okay, we're just so tired that we just throw ourselves on the bed and we just forget that we are in yesterday's yesterdays, but not tonight, girl. I feel pretty accomplished, like I feel blessed. I thank the Lord for the soap and the hot water and the hands used to remove this layer of filth that was on my body. But I'm about to get in bed. Um, I thought I heard one of my children. Oh my gosh.